While our next speaker remains involved in his parish, St. Stephen Protomartyr, as a lector and a math tutor, here at SLU, he is a core staff member on the Prep News and a member of Pax Christi, Students for Life, and Youth Leadership St. Louis. Twice he has traveled to Washington, D.C. for the Ignatian Family Teaching for Justice, where students from Jesuit schools across the country come together to discuss social justice issues. He is also a member of the Junior Pastoral Team. Last summer, he traveled to Camden, New Jersey for a week-long trip to serve the poor and marginalized. He is also an admissions ambassador, a president's ambassador, and a National Honor Society member. Please welcome Junior Sam Chechik. Arabic, my friends. This will be fun. al Brimazin, il al 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 Arabia min Hajina, al Ahad Ahum, Am Badrat, al at Kwanaha. But Sanad. Kul ad karn athahath, ludujuna bikwat, akbar min hai, wakwat madu. Num meduza, lama lith fukuyal akademi, wal atanash a iliyamianat, fi al watan wa al aam. So, for those of you who don't know butchered Arabic, let me give you the English translation real quick. Um, sorry, they didn't hear that. Here's the translation. I want to thank all of you. All of those who have supported our school's strategic direction through Go Forth. Among our many important initiatives is the addition of Arabic language and culture studies to our curriculum. With your support, we will enter our third century stronger than ever as a model of academic excellence and faith formation for the nation and the world. So, there is never success without struggle, and the same rings true here at St. Louis U High. Although I may not know all of you here at this meeting, I think it's safe to assume that we all realize the importance of a plan that will not only forward SLU's direction in faith and academics, but will also transform the SLU experience into something much or more. Although I will graduate in 2017, one year shy of the big year, and won't be able to fully experience the direction in which SLU is heading, I have been able to delve into the SLU of today, the pre-imagining 18 SLU, which is full of opportunity, let me tell you. What I've read, seen, and heard of SLU's new strategic direction has led me to feel sadness that I'll miss it, but also great hope for the future junior mills. But before we look to the future, I'd like to bring it in my past. So SLU's impact on my life has been greater than, greater than I thought it would. Yearning to escape the cliques of grade school, I came to SLU with a passion to achieve more than anyone has before. So I joined 12 clubs freshman year. That was a fantastic <laughs> idea. Uh, yeah. Although I didn't play any sports, I piled my plate high with difficult classes and consuming clubs my freshman and sophomore years, and continue to do so through this year now. The only way that I got to school was through my mother, just as a side note, who single-handedly made Catholic education possible for my sister and me. And as Mr. Barris said, in my family, my mother didn't have the chance to have a Catholic education, so she wanted to give it to her children, which I very much appreciated. I just wanted to create that context, because without her help and support, I'd be not here speaking Arabic to you, so I'm glad that I could. <laughs> I would say that I bleed blue to steal a sports term. I not only thoroughly enjoy SLU's opportunities of academic achievement and extracurricular involvement, but I also can dive headfirst into my faith. I've always been a devout Catholic, but SLU bolstered my faith to new heights with the amount of possibilities to take it. I joined religious clubs, went to mass before school, and became more focused on the, on the insane amount of places I could find God at SLU. It's incredible, there were so many. The people, the courses, the exam, and the hustle and bustle of the school, all of it. It all led me one direction, and on where I saw SLU was going, and that was forward. Being involved at SLU has always brought me to the realization that there is always so much more that I can't do, that I can't achieve. SLU provides so many opportunities that I am sometimes forced to pick and choose which are my favorites, which was a hard task to do for an overachieving junior who wants to do everything. So <laughs> I've chosen things like Prep News and Pox Christie and other social justice clubs and the community service program and pastoral team and admissions and presidents ambassadors, thanks Mr. Welcome by the way, and, uh, and so much more that I've enjoyed here at SLU. But besides all these, the academics at SLU have actually allowed me to have a way more challenging curriculum than I thought I would, and especially from my grade school, which I didn't get a chance to do some of these courses. I can fill up on AP classes and prepare for the upcoming ACT, while also balancing my family and God in my home life. 
Not only does SLU teach me about the world itself, but it also brings me into the light about my own true nature. What I really want out of SLU, what I really want to achieve, and what I want to give back to SLU, like all of you hopefully will. SLU has pushed my limits forward, and that's exactly what we are doing with Go Forth. And while I won't be able to be a student at SLU experiencing Go Forth myself, I look to that journey as an alumni giving back to the institution that formed me. SLU is achieving the greatest of accomplishments in all areas of the school, and it allows its students to find their own true selves and further the mission into the world. SLU has shown me that it truly exemplifies the theme of this year, Cura Personalis, because the people at SLU care for every part of the person in every section of the school, no matter what it is. We aren't just many students, teachers, workers, and administrators working together. We are one body and one spirit in Christ. Thank you.